So hi dear Capricorn, a very very good evening to you guys. This is Anjali Tarot and this is a general reading for all the Capricorn Sun Moon Venus rising. Keep in mind this is general. It might or might not resonate with you in the first place. The second thing, this is a reading for the month of April 2023 and uh, this is not a love reading but whatever will come, I will just let you guys know. So let's start. The overall energy for Capis for this month of April is for the overall energy for Capricorn for this month of April. Six of Pentacles, okay, balancing, trying to balance your life, trying to have equal give and take of energy, in some cases trying to have financial balance in your life, okay. Now let's see, in the recent past we had Seven of Cups, lots of confusion, lots of things to accomplish, lots of things to do, very, very confused kind of energy, I will clarify each and every card one by one, don't worry. In the current energies, we have the Hermit card, thinking a lot about future direction of your life. Thinking like there are lots of tons of things going on in your head right now and you're not able to make sense of any of them. You're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, right? right? That kind of chaos going on. By the end of April, we have the Seven of Wands, taking a stand for yourself. Setting boundaries and taking a stand for yourself. That is good. Now let's clarify the cards. Six of Pentacles, overall energy. Let's see, Cappies. Oops. Sorry. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Ace of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles. So slowly but surely, the tables are going to turn in your favor and the universe is going to like uh, send you a very huge opportunity, especially in terms of your money, job, career. Okay, there's a brand new opportunity coming your way and if you are going to miss this opportunity or oh, Capricorn, I feel like you will never be able to get the balance that you are seeking for. Uh, we are talking about your job, career and financial sector. So there will be, uh, it could be possible that you, out of nowhere you will get an idea that I should do that and it's, it's coming from the point of inspiration and you will be like, I should definitely do that. But you are like not uh, trusting yourself or something is going to happen that's going to make you uh, you know, uh, doubt yourself or doubt the situation. I think you should not do that because there's there's something there is something that's coming up or popping up in this month and uh, that have the potential to become something very huge in the future. So please think about this, right? Now in the current uh, now in the recent past we have the seven of cups had lots of confusion, lots of things to do. Let's clarify the seven of cups. Let's see. We have the magician, the judgment, and the five of pentacles. You were manifesting some kind of forgiveness or you were manifesting like, yeah, some kind of coming back together with somebody, giving somebody a second chance or you were simply in this energy of uh, forgiving and forgetting and moving ahead from this energy of uh, being left out, of being unworthy, of being not uh, desirable or something like this. Somebody betrayed your trust or you did something wrong with somebody and you, you guys split with someone, right? And you were in this energy of like uh, forgiving and forgetting and trying to manifest a lots of options in your life so that you can choose from Capricorn. Mm -hmm. You were manifesting like a total forgiveness from something or someone. And you were uh, for, a, for a longest period of time, you were in this energy of having a, sec having a reconciliation or second chance with something or someone. Like, okay, giving something or someone a second chance. Okay. But now you are in the energy of uh, coming out of this uh, energy of, uh, you know, feeling betrayed and backstabbed and left out and choosing a lot of options or trying to manifest a lot of options in your life so that you can choose from. Okay, but you left uh, yourself confused because you were like, okay, I don't know what to do next. So what happens sometimes is when we manifest a lot of things together or when we manifest from a confused state of mind. The universe is going to bring a lot of lot more confusion on that situation. So our, we are going to be in this energy of, okay, now what? <laughs> I'm hell confused. I'm more confused. Now what? So the universe, why the universe is sending me all this negativity and all this? Actually, it's not uh, the universe that's sending you this. You are manifesting from a lack or from a confused or from whatever mindset you are going to manifest from. The universe is going to like work on the feelings, not the actions, nothing. Feelings, the feelings, what you are feeling about this. You were confused, so universe threw you, uh, like sent you a lot of more, more of this confusion. Now in the current moment, in the present moment, you are in this energy of, okay, taking one step at a time, using all, all the wisdom, all the, you know, gyan you had got from this situation, from the past or from mistakes or lessons. Let's clarify the hermit card.
we have the five of wands the two of cups and the two of pentacles it's all about love capis it's all about love okay right now you are in this energy of trying to make peace with like drama competition fight going on between you and somebody specific and you are going back and forth about a particular person or situation in your life whether you want them or you don't want them or whether this person is meant for you or not meant for you so you are trying to figure out in in this uh, in this silence in this wisdom you are like there are lots of things going on in your head right now going on in your head right now yes like me and you are not able to figure out which way should i go so your energies are going going back and forth back and forth and you are very sure that you need to do something about it but you are not able to understand what should i do some day you're like okay i need this person even though there is drama there is fight there is competition i need this person they are my soulmate another another day you are there you are like okay i don't need this person in my life there is lots of drama lots of fights and conflicts going on between me and them this not this person don't deserve me that kind of energy that kind of energy of going back and forth and up and down about the situation is there hmm yep so you're thinking a lot there are lots of things going on in your head about about things but you're not able to make sense of them so that's why you're silent and trying to take things like uh, take uh, each day one day at a time yeah so by the end of this month capis i do see lots of energy of uh, creating your own boundaries or taking a stand for yourself let's clarify the seven of wands we have the ace of cups the four of pentacles the seven of wands okay eight of eight of cups so seven of wands is clarified by the ace of cups four of pentacles ace eight of cups what the fuck is this i'm not able to say eight of cups so you're so scared you're so scared of new love or new people or new situations that you are going to set your boundaries like okay i'm not ready new people new situation new connections new experiences you are not ready for anything or you are simply going to take a stand for yourself you are going to release a past person or past energy slowly but surely you are going to release something or someone on whom you are holding from a very very long time you are holding on to this particular person or situation from a very long time finally you will be able to move on from that particular person or situation but when it comes to a new person or new situation i don't think even if you are feeling you are ready you will not be ready new person new situation is going to pop up something is going to pop up but you are going to resist it the more you are going to resist it the more it's going to come towards you don't resist anything that's coming your way actually observe it pass it observe it let it go observe it let it go this too shall pass capricorn but the thing is the good thing here that i'm seeing is that you will be finally able to release something or someone that you are not able to do from a very very long time now capricorn from your life Finally you are going to be in this energy of taking stand for yourself and creating your boundaries and setting healthy boundaries uh, for yourself and also for other people also and uh, that's going to give you the sense of okay uh, I am ready for a new person or situation but actually you are not so I think you might need more time to connect with new people new situation or new experiences because you will be still on this journey of uh, walking away or moving on from something or someone right but finally you will be taking the stand for yourself that's really good Let's see what is the guidance for you capis. We have the knight of pentacles, 10 of wands and the 7 of wands. Yeah again instead of resisting whatever you are going to resist in your life or uh, like uh, it's going to pull happen. You know? The more you resist the more it happens. So if you are in this energy of this should not happen with me. No, no. This should not happen with me. The universe is not going to uh, uh hear the listen to the no. note the universe is going to uh, listen to this energy of this should happen this should happen positive affirmation positive things that's why we always say positive things to the universe when while while we are manifesting okay so take things really very very slow if it is possible for you to share your responsibilities to share your burden with somebody please do that if this is a very huge burden like emotional baggage that you are carrying go to a therapist go to a counselor go to a healer talk to somebody with whom you can share your uh, like insecurities or your burden some situation with and take things really really very slow like one day at a time only and take a stand for yourself now it is high time let me burp first what the fuck is wrong with me yeah so now this is a very high time capricorn to take a stand for yourself okay 
to set boundaries else you are going to end up in the vicious cycle of this abandonment trust issues being confused not able to understand what to do not able to you know walk away again and again and again so baby it's time to take charge of your situation be responsible for your situation and then slowly but surely let it go so thank you so much for tuning in cappies i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste